just. We are set for five rounds of matchup for the world middleweight title. One championship. Just, and nice to see just, we are trending with the one championship. Ready, Hashtag ready, number one go. trend on Twitter in the USA right now. Our course starts on Ken Hasegawa. This one brought to you by Global Citizen. Last time, the all-time greatest belt in one championship history. Until in the fifth round, online sign uncorked the uppercut of all uppercuts to knock out Ken Hasegawa. He says it'll happen quicker tonight. It may be a roundhouse kick to the head that knocks out Hasegawa. Before that knockout last time, Hasegawa had never been knocked out in his illustrious career. Yeah, it was absolutely beautiful. It was like you were watching a Street Fighter, the video game, the way that he landed that beautiful uppercut. And Hasegawa stance is a little bit awkward. He comes out of southpaw stance, but he angles his body in a very peculiar way. He's consistently stepping up the outside of the foot of Unlan San. So it gives us uh, Unlan San a little bit of trouble, and he spoke about it earlier with us. He says he's come up with a plan with his coach, Henry Hook, to combat that. Son, who appeared world champion, Martin Yuen into his camp in Florida for this one. Then Hasegawa ventured out of Japan, went to New York to train up for this. On the car batteries of hands. Massive power in both those fists. During his introduction by Tom Lau, you saw him hit his elbow. That was in tribute to the national striking martial art of Myanmar called Litway. Tremendous martial art. Similar to put them out of Cambodia or Muay Thai Thailand. Body shot there from Unlan San. Hasegawa fights. Southpaw Hasegawa retains Unlan wants to employ his right hand down the centre corridor. Keep his lead foot on the outside of Hasegawa's lead foot to employ that right hand. Chance and part of the audience here for Hasegawa, other chance from the Burmese fans for Online Sun. Hasegawa gets back to centre cage, beautiful kick to the left ribs, and it's already so red, it looks like it's been sunburned. Jab two there from Hasegawa. <laughs> you can see the game plans are pretty evident. Online Sun wants to create that pressure, keep Ken Hasegawa up against the cage, but Hasegawa's doing a good job of moving laterally and keeping away from the back of the cage. Last time out, Hasegawa put a beating on Onla's son at times, the likes of which we'd never seen before. Onla's face after that contest was an absolute horror show. And he backs him up with a two-punch combination. Here's the heavy artillery from Onla. Hasegawa's face redding, his body redding. He just grins, he smiles and bites down on his mouth guard. They are barking instructions at Hasegawa from his corner. Onla following him around the cage, resets now. Backs away the roundhouse kick again, scooped away by Ken Hasegawa. The deep open weight tournament champion goes to the inside five. Goes upstairs on Onla. Good right hand, backs him off four paces. That had some start behind it. Here's Onla on the front foot. Hasegawa stands his ground. Look at the kaleidoscope of colours on that left rib section of Hasegawa. The purples and the reds from the damage of those roundhouse kicks off the back leg of the world's champion. That right side has given Ken Hasegawa a lot of problems. Oh, smack back! Smack back! He landed the right hand! And Hasegawa momentarily found the canvas. Hasegawa straight back to his feet. He'll want to duke it out. Rush of leg kicks on now might have drawn the short straw. Under a minute remaining, first round set for five. Probing jabs from the champion on Lansan. Going for the headache maker. Can he get a takedown here, Hasegawa? Slow the striking of Onla. This is where Onla said Ken Hasegawa's given him the most problems. It's inside that clinch. It's the judo of Ken Hasegawa. That's that Ken, uh, Onla and Sang has to look out for. Now he's just going for the upper body clinch. He's not attempting to create any sort of angles to do the close. The half a minute remaining in what has been a cracker of a first round for the champion, Onlan Sun. Obin fires the right hand down the tube there. Uppercut went higher than Michael Estro. Resets his Hasegawa. We get some much needed instructions between rounds here, Kid Hasegawa. High kick from Onla. Goes to the body once more. Counter by Hasegawa. We go to the towns.
Good first round for um, Ong La Unsong parries the right hand of Ken Hasegawa and then straight down the middle drops the challenger. It's that right side of Ong option. But Ken Hasegawa is right now just standing up. Ong La Unsong of Myanmar. The challenger in the black and white, Ken Hasegawa of Japan. Good stop there from Ung Lan Song as Ken Hasegawa tried to change things up and went for that double leg, but Ken but Ung Lan Song saw it coming. Big hello to all of our fans watching live in Myanmar on Skynet and MNTV. Watching here in Japan on Abena TV and TV Tokyo. Thought about the high roundhouse kick there with the champion Ong Lan Song. Who once applied a trade as a beekeeper? Sagawa looking to land the leather. Hooks up the lead. Wilds up a gut. Little back fist there from Onla. Roundhouse kick from Onla. Trying for the catch and counter. Did it. Asagawa goes to the inside thigh. Onla goes for the bread basket. Left hand, I should say right hook there, out of southpaw stance from Ken Hasegawa. Both men are loading into the punches here in the second round, Dragon. Jab two there from Ong Lai. What we're seeing from Ong Lai is that parry of the lead hand of Ken Hasegawa. Ken's got to be very careful because he's leaving, he's exposing himself right down the middle because Ken Unlock is not only stepping out to his left, but he's parrying the hand and coming right down the middle with that right hand of his. If there's one thing we know from their first contest, it's that Ken Asagawa is a human sponge. This man can absorb all the punishment in the world you can throw at him. It's going to take another Herculean effort for Online Sun to knock him out for a second time. this crowd, which is very uncharacteristic in Japan, a cheering for both Asagawa and Onlan San. Nice two-punch combination there from Onlan. Asagawa gets off his left hand, that being the power hand of the southpaw. Body kick from Onlan. Got to be careful not to drop that lead hand. Look out for that right hand counter of Asagawa. Oh, smack back with the schnoz there with the cross from Onlan. Right now, that body kick is definitely starting to drop the hand of Hasegawa and it's exposing the whole left side of his face. Ongbad consistently pouring with that lead hand to find range and timing for that right. You go to Miyamo and you just can't believe how riotously popular, how famous Ongbad's son is. They're not walk the street. They not go anywhere without being mind things. Picture on billboards, on TV commercials, radio commercials. You talk to cab drivers, you talk to waiters, chefs, you talk to plumbers, you talk to the hotel staff. Everyone knows the name Online Sun in Myanmar, a country of some 55 million people, where it's said that one in every three watches him live when he competes. Jab two there from Online. Roundhouse kick from the champion. And again from Online Sun. Systematically, methodically, breaking down Hasegawa. Oh, that ribcage of Hasegawa is an absolute mess. It looks like a Ziploc bag full of hamburger meat. Oh, with a nice knee there on the entry and the takedown. It's about time Ken Hasegawa thought about a takedown. Can Hasegawa change it up here? Can he change the levels? Get this match on the ground. Standing on triangle. side of Hasegawa's carcass looks like it's been barbecued. What punishment he's taking? Crossing elbow, left way style there from Ong Lan Sang. Hasegawa needs to protect that body. Ong Lan's going to wind up those roundhouse kicks. It's like a painted target for the shoots of Ong Lan Sang. There he goes again, careening into the side. Oh, smack back! The big kibosh! Hasegawa's in trouble! He's in trouble! And good night, Irene! Ong Lan Sang said he'd knock him out quicker than last time! And he did just that! Ong Lan Sang reigns supreme outside of Myanmar! And he's still unstoppable! It was the right side of Ong Lan Sang all night long. He was finding a home with the body kick.
kick. He softened up the body, broke down the entire rib cage of Ken Hasegawa. He was stepping out to the lead side, and then that right hand came straight down the middle and dropped Hasegawa. He figured out the puzzle a lot faster. We gotta take a look at this again. Look at this, boom, right down the middle. He saw Ken Asagawa was actually coming into it. And then, boom, right down the middle. What a thing of beauty. He waited for it. Look at that, he creates the opening. Look at that, he's stepping on the foot of Ken Asagawa. There was no place for him to go. That, those small little intricate details. To present the belt for this match, please welcome the founder, chairman, and CEO of One Championship, Chatre Sitchotong! And now, your referee, Mr. Olivier Cost, has called a stop to this contest after four minutes and 41 seconds in the second round for your winner by way of technical knockout and still your one middleweight world champion, Allah! on the right on the big screen. I want you to talk us through that. Look at that, beautifully done. Was that the opening you were waiting for? That's a metal pipe right there. Look at that, metal pipe. It's a metal pipe. I've been working on it. Um, I mean, I've been working on it, and you know, with the style pause, that right hand. Final instruction from our referee, Atsushi Onari. The Packers Kukumai champion, Kong Samba, the world multi champion, Zhang Chen Long. Sambo in the orange and black. Opens up with an outside fry kick. They are in four ounce gloves. There can be no filling up process. Three by three minute rounds. It's all that aggression, all that action. Looking for the KO. Nice long reaching jab at a southpaw stance there for Zhang Chen Long. He will switch stance the Muay Thai world champion. As we're seeing already, outside leg kick from Kong. The Kung Gamai Bacchus champion circles off to his left. Watch the leg kicks of Kong. He's really trying to dig deep into that thigh, trying to slow down the movement of Zhang. Zhang's not known as a fast athlete. He doesn't move around a lot. He kind of plants his feet, stands there tight, and throws bombs with the hands. So Zhang's trying to limit that movement even more by going after those legs. Good defense against the high right roundhouse kick there of Kong Sambo. Zhang Chenlong controlling center ring, inside thigh kick to the Cambodian. Sambo goes high. Cheng Long wants to press him against the ropes, does so, does drag the tan down the southpaw stance. The power hand of the southpaw cracks the high left roundhouse kick. There goes Sambo in return. Sango needs to pick, keep drifting off to his left. Stay away from the power side of Cheng Long. I'm going to break his friend with Zhang and that step. He wanted to make sure he was okay. Zhang Cheng Long edges forward, tip kick to the lead thigh. There's one to the midsection, belly button through the back. Checks the high kick of Kong Sambo. Sambo backs off and resets. Inside leg kick, high to that femoral profunda. Good high guard again there from Zhang Cheng Long. Wicked high kick and a nice counter from Kong Sambo. Both men striking, one for one at the moment. Neither one getting the upper hand, really. It's a close contest with under a minute to go in the opening round. Long's just being a little bit more offensive, and also he's got a little more volume coming out of those kicks. He hasn't thrown much in the way of punches, so he is found his kicking range. I think trade kicks, it was the World Muay Thai champion who drew the short straw. High right roundhouse there from Zhang Chen Long. The dancer shuffle in center in from Kong Sambo, winds up the right roundhouse kick, hoping to loop the shoot in the back of the neck. Left hand lead. Nicely done from the southpaw from China, the Muay Thai world champion in the black trunks. Thought a front kick was scum coming there, had the right idea, Kong Sambo, to scoop it out of the way. One way to defend against a front kick. Final seconds of this opening round. Two punch combination down the center from Cheng Long. Sambo dances off to his left, resets himself. Chance for a final punch. There it is from the Muay Thai world champion. Great sportsmanship from two fine champs.
Sema really was able to find that range, but it was Chen Long, Zhang Chen Long coming through with that straight left hand. He found it not once, but twice in that round. With some of the most significant throwing those shots right down the pipe. We know the kicking arsenal of Kong Samba, but he's been very proficient in knocking out opponents with body shots over the years. He knocked out in the third round, Orono. That was back in December of last year. There was a great body punch knockout in the fourth round back in 2017 against Superboy. Let's see if he can affect some bigger shots. Shot to the solar plexus to the midsection of the World Muay Thai Champion from China, Zhang Cheng Long. Second round of three, one Super Series kickboxing match in front of a sellout crowd here in Singapore. Now boss starts again the Muay Thai World Champion, Zhang Cheng Long. Right then drag kicks, Zhang goes downstairs. Hong Sambo goes upstairs. Good combination there from Zhang Cheng Long. Defense against the high left roundhouse kick. Really builds that wall on the right side of the body. Does Zhang Cheng Long. Nice high check with the legs. Forms the guard with the hand. Catching on the shins, catching on the forearms as those roundhouse kicks rattle in. Not a lot of lateral movement come on both athletes. You can see uh, Kong Sambo slightly circling to his left, which is away from the power of Zhang Chen Long. But uh, Zhang Chen Long is only marching forward, trying to cut the corner and then throw those hands. Referee Onari gives some instructions there to. Portion, I should say, to Kong Samba, but he didn't understand it. Looked to his corner for some sort of translation. Forward coming now, Zhang Chen Long, the Muay Thai world champion. Clash of styles here Muay Thai versus Kun Kamai. Thailand versus Cambodian Thai style versus Cambodian style. Thai style being affected very well by the Chinese athlete, the world champion, Zhang Chen Long. Dominating center ring, good jab to combination there from the southpaw. Then just up in himself, and trying to a ripping high kick. High kick from Kong Sambo. Needs to start to put together some combinations though, Sambo. Can't rely just on the single strikes. Dance is out of the way of a left cross there. And that's what he's been doing, Michael. He's been only throwing that one kick at a time. They've been very effective in the first round, but not so much in the second round. And I think that's due to the forward pressure of Zhong Chen Long. He's not able to set the same way that he was in the first round to deliver those shots. There's a lot more forward pressure coming out of Zhong Chen Long. Zhang Chen Long's had some great victories over in glory in the past against Masaya Kubo. He unanimous decision him back in October 2017. On the same night, defeated New Zealand's Quaint Taranaki, also by decision. Has a third round unanimous decision over Sing Mang Ni, Kaysom Rit. And also a decision over Adrian Maxson at Glory 54 back in June of last year. Great to see him here in one Super Series. One of the best in the world. The world's champion, Zhang Chen Long of China. I like this change in strategy of Zhong Chen Long. It's a lot more forward pressure. You can see Kong Sambo is not landing anything off the back foot. He's having a hard time planting that rear leg and firing off those kicks. He's thrown very few punches, and he hasn't really found an answer for the forward pressure of Zhong Chen Long. Now are allowed to throw knees under these kickboxing rules only for a short amount of time. Into the second round, we go to the towel. See, this is Zhang Chen Long pushing forward, finding that range. You can see uh, Kong Sambo's just waiting, and that's that left hand again that is putting a disruption into the rhythm of Kong. And we are kicking off with a one Super Series kickboxing match between two martial arts champions. The Bacchus Kun Kamai champion from Cambodia, Little White Dragon, Kong Sambo, the world's Muay Thai champion from China, Zhang Chen Long, third and final round. Great sportsmanship, the martial arts values of honor, integrity, and respect on display. And the house girl, the upstairs there from Kong Sambo, you figure he's gonna lift the world right a little here, start to string together some combinations. Put the leather down, put it to the face, put it to the body of the world champion, Zhang Chen Long. More active with the kicks, I'd like to see more uh, weapons up the middle. Like I'd like to see uppercuts, knees coming straight in as Zhang Chen Long's coming forward right now. Boom, fire that knee. Set that back foot, let things to go. Just throw, throw a little bit of uppercuts. Lift that chin up to answer with some of those kicks. Looks like Chen go. Long has been able to figure out that those kicks of Kong Sambo. Four rounds gloves in a kickboxing match can do a whole lot of damage. Inside they kick, then a roundhouse kick in the ribs from Kong Sambo. We're seeing the clinch and knees come into play a lot more now from the Muay Thai world champion, Zhang Chen Long. 
And that's because of his forward Dude, pressure. Straight, he's going yeah. right into it, and he's not able to yeah. do it. Azushi Onari is, ref is warning him about the activity. If they are clinched, they need to throw the knees continually. No elbows are allowed under kickboxing rules. Good roundhouse kick there from Kong Sambo, but he's on the back foot here once again. Sun Chung Long, the world Muay Thai champion, ties him up, pulls a little knee, and referee Onari breaks them. Front kick turned into a cutting side kick almost there by Kong Sambo, the Cambodian Kukumai champion in the orange trunks. Plants into his corner out of the Kingdom Fight Gym. Cambodia. So that's what Onari, referee Onari is warning in Kongsambo. It's that holding, it's that clinching. Nice high knee. He got Stop. elevated on that one. Did Zhang Chen Long. The Onari really Go. keeping a close eye on Kong Sambo. Fake there downstairs, then a follow through left hand. Didn't connect for Zhang Chen Long. A couple of corking knees to the outside left thigh from Kong Sambo. Go. 45 seconds remains, third and final round. Good evasion encounter there for the world's Muay Thai champion, Zhang Ching Long, in the black trucks. Go! Cuts off the movement. Nicely done, they tie up in tango. Referee all down with breaks and no chance to work the knees there for Kong Sambo. Roundhouse kicks from Zhang Ching Long, it seems his confidence just oozing here. My feet, says Zhang Cheng Long. Beautiful work from the world's Muay Thai champion. Sets the left hand, fires it off in the corner. Clinch up now. Knee guard put on by the Cambodian Kun Kamai champion. And Onari breaks them. Final 10 seconds. It's been a good last stanza for Zhang Cheng Long. Three judges ringside are scoring on a 10 point hey. must system. Give the winner of the round Go. 10 points. The less dominant boxer, 9 points. Where are you watching folks in 138 countries? How do you score it? Do you have it for the Muay Thai World Champion, Chen Long? Do you have it for the Kun Kamai Champion? Little White Dragon, Kong Sambo. Here's the left hand, wait for it, and it's right down the middle. Beautiful. Kong Sambo could not find an answer to that riddle, which is the left hand of Yong Chang Long. It just landed over and over again, and it was most likely the secret to his success in this one super serious kickboxing bout. It's gone down to the judges here. Three of them at the ringside, scoring in a 10 point must system. Will the nod go to the world's Muay Thai champion? Right of screen. Will it go to the Kun Kamai champion? Left of screen. Here's Dom Lau to let us know. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. Judge number one scores this contest in favor of the blue corner. Judge number two scores this contest in favor of the red corner. And judge number three calls this contest in favor of your winner by split decision from the blue Well, that one was a little 